This is the Speedy Prop Bouncer made from high impact clear plastic. The uprights are exactly uh, perpendicular to the end, to the base of the thing, and the rods are aligned exactly end to end, uh, the same height above the base. The uprights are glued in so that they won't move, and the rods themselves are embedded in the plastic where they won't come out. This video is to show the instructions on how to use the Speedy Prop Balancer. Its primary design for, is for the props that have hubs on them, mostly using quadcopters. The Props that have no hub don't have holes all the way through them like conventional props do. The rod we have designs, uh, there are several versions. This particular one is uh, for the uh, DJI Phantom 1 and 2, 8 and 9 inch props. There are several others. Uh, the left hand end, the counterclockwise thread is designated by a groove in the end. You simply screw the right into the prop itself when you tighten it down this rod is perpendicular to the center axis of the prop which makes it easy to balance now the first thing we need to do is be sure that the the balance mechanism itself is level the way we check that is we put the rod on it and see that it's wanting to roll to the left so we take I commonly use several sticky notes and I think I got four or five here and we put those under the left hand end for the, other, the low side we put the rod back on and it seems to be going to the right so I'll take it out one page We're looking to get that rod to kind of stay, it want to stay by itself, right in the middle. And there we go. Next thing you do is reassemble the rod. Put it in the balancer. And what we're looking for is which side is the heavy side. And we're going to put tape on the other end. This obviously is going to be the heavy side. And it's going fairly slow, it's not real rapid. So we know that this side is going to need some tape, but not much. This this light side. I use the dollar store tape. It's cheap. It's clear, and it sticks really, really well. We'll pull off a small piece. Again, check. Be sure you put it on the right side. This is going to be the heavy side. So we'll put this out. Put this piece of tape right in the middle. And let it go all the way to the end. <clears throat> Check and see that how we did. And we put too much tape, which is good because we can always trim it. The way I do is I trim with a very sharp exacto knife. See that? I feel about this much. See how that does. Put the rod back on there. Still too much. Drill a little bit more. Put the rod back on. Getting closer. Put 
Okay, let's check it again. And that rod is about as well balanced as you can get. <clears throat> Statically, from end to end, the tips are down the center axis are, are balanced from end to end. Now, the next thing you need to check is whether it's statically, I mean, dynamically balanced. And the way you do that, you put it in any position other than straight up and down. And if this hub weighs more on one side than the other, the heavy side will go down. Let's say you've determined that this is the the, the light side of the prop, and you want to overcome the, the heavy side, what you do is you simply take super glue and a little bit of weight on there, and you hit it with a zip kicker, and it becomes really hard, really fast, and it's, it's good for adding weight. We've also had good luck with uh, hot melt glue, uh, that works well. Now let's say we put too much on there, and we put the prop back on, and it proved to be too heavy. This is going to simulate that we've got too much. Okay, and then we find that now this has become the heavy side. What we need to do is go back in a little at a time. Trim some of this off. Check the prop again. If it's still the heavy side, Crimp some off. Check the prop again and eventually you'll get it where it's perfectly balanced and it'll stay in the same position at a 45 degree angle, or 27 and a half, or 90 degrees, whatever. And it wants to stay in the same position all the time. Thank you very much.